welcome back to my channel. I am Renee Carlson, Seattle MUA Renee on Instagram. I'll leave a link below. You should follow me on there. I do lots of giveaways, at least once a month, if not more. I'm kind of like a giveaway slut. Yeah, it sounded better in my head. So I wanted to do a another Fashion Nova haul. A lot of you guys mentioned that you really liked the last one that I did. If you haven't seen that, I believe it should be my last video. Speaking of other videos, there is going to be a new giveaway, either before this or after this. I'm not sure what order I'm going to upload them in. And yes, I talk with my hands. And look at what I did for you guys. I covered up the fuse box with this fancy fake chandelier. It's actually just a print, but I'm, I just used some scotch tape and uh, put that on there for now and had a little, it's actually a living in a room. Actually, it goes on my dining room table, but I brought it up here just for you. So let's get started. Everything is from Fashion Nova and this dress you might recognize. I wore the oatmeal colored one in my last video and well you see what had happened was I went to Arizona. The oatmeal one is very a light beige and I brought my purple shampoo with me and the purple shampoo decided to leak and the oatmeal dress got hit the hardest. So that was fun. Mom, if you're watching, thanks for trying to get it out. Uh, it's cotton, so we weren't very successful. But I love the dress so much, so I got it in this dusty blue color. It is fully lined, so what I like about this is that you can kind of like scrunch it up. It's a little bit more forgiving. Off the shoulder, long sleeves. The sleeves aren't lined, but the whole dress is. So yeah, I love it. I'm going to leave links to hopefully everything. I bought all this about two weeks ago. So I'm assuming they probably should still be up. And so yeah, check below for links. Not an affiliate link or anything. Hopefully someday, but not yet. I will always be honest with you guys and let you know. I also kind of think it's the law that you have to tell if something is sponsored or something like that. Oh, if you want a hair tutorial, you're shit out of luck because <laughs> I don't even know how I got this to do this. So it's, it's somehow stain and I don't know how to replicate it. So I don't think that I would make a very good hair tutorial person, but I can try. I'm always willing to try things. Most things. Anyways, let's move on to the next outfit. As per usual, I'm not wearing shoes. That's just the way it goes. I might figure out how to edit this so you don't see me walking to and from, but you know, I, I'm pretty new to YouTube. I've obviously been on Instagram for what feels like forever. I am one of the like OG Instagram beauty gurus, but I'm pretty new to YouTube and I feel like people sometimes forget that when you're first starting out and first starting your channel, everything isn't going to be perfect. You don't have your editing down. You don't know really what you're doing, how to work your camera sometimes, 
things like backdrops and you know fancy lighting and mics and stuff like that it's just it kind of comes with time I remember even watching like Jaclyn Hill back 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 in the day and I remember her doing her makeup like on her kitchen table or her dining room table it was in her kitchen but that's what I remember so just keep in mind that you know everybody doesn't start off really fancy schmancy I feel like this is even kind of fancy for the beginning in my opinion because I do record with my Sony camera that I've had for a few years and I have a Diva ring light and then you know with the added addition of this wall sticker I just feel like my video is just you know it's going way up there now anyways I just wanted to put that out there and I love you guys thank you for your support so far and bear with me we will keep at this we will get better together and we will grow together and form some kind of weird little makeup fashion family. Oh, by the way, everything that I have to show you guys today is in a size small. I am about a two in express, which is what I kind of base everything on. I used to work there, so I'm pretty comfortable in a two. I don't even try it on or anything. So anyways, let's move on. This is basically the same type of dress, except for it has the spaghetti sleeves and it, you know, you can wear a bra with it. So for me, that is a plus. As much as I love the style of off-the-shoulder dresses, I ride the struggle bus because I'm not all that big, but yet apparently somewhere on my dad's side of the family, there was big boobs, so I inherited them, and I've thought even about getting a reduction, but just trying to be happy with what I have even because most girls actually are in the opposite position but when you've had the chest that I have since high school it just sometimes it gets old and I have back problems and you know all that shit so anyways I'm gonna start complain complaining about my boobs because I'm sure a lot of you don't want to hear it. So this is the next item. It's like a charcoal heather gray. It is the buttons and just so you guys know it doesn't actually button. They're actually sewed on and this is lined as well. It's got a black lining in it. So, yes, I am wearing a leopard bra, deal with it. But, yeah, this one actually is way more comfortable than the other one, just because you can wear a bra with it. And I feel like the style, even though it's I'm popping out of these fake buttons, <laughs> uh, the style is just a little bit, I don't know, it's a little bit longer and... I think it's more slimming, probably just because it's darker, but either way, love it, size small, and I'll leave links for everything below. It's a matter of time before I knock this guy on the floor. So before that happens, let's move on. I have a few shirts and then a really cute jumper. Moving on, we are now wearing my favorite colors, red and black. 
So these leggings are actually from uh, Victoria's Secret Pink, not Fashion Nova. But I didn't actually buy any pants from Fashion Nova, so I don't feel comfortable in front of the camera just with a shirt on. I'm wearing pants for you and for me because I am just not about the no pants online thing, if that's even a thing. I don't know. That's kind of scary to think about. Anyways, so this is the shirt that I got. Red is my absolute favorite color. It's pretty thin, as you can probably see my leopard bra through it, but it just has a really cute, has the ruching and then the tie short sleeves. It's longer in the back. Of course, you can tie it a little looser so it goes down a little bit more. So this is in a small and you can also wear it off the shoulders too, but you know, I, I like it this way. I actually didn't realize that it was this low. I did wear it out to happy hour a few days ago with one of my guy friends and looking back on the pictures, I was like, oh, all right, that is pretty deep cut, but you know, it is what it is. So this is that. I know it comes in a lot of different colors and crap, I took off the tag, but everything is really reasonably priced and I did get a coupon in the mail with a discount code, I think for 25% off. Usually you can Google search for codes. That's what I do all the time. You just type in whatever store you're looking for. You can usually find some pretty good coupons that way, but I'll leave the code for the card. I think it's for 25% off. So they might even be having a bigger sale on the website than that. But in case you want the 25% off, I'll leave it below. This is that. And I have Two more shirts to show you that I'm going to wear with these leggings because, yeah, I'm going to wear leggings. So let's get on to the next top. Okay, this one I am so bummed about. So if you guys know me at all, you know that... I am a huge Tupac fan. So when I saw this, it says Thug Wife. I am like, I have to get this. But as you can see, it's it's a little large, but it is a small. It just looks like a large. And the straps are not adjustable, so it's Otherwise, I love it, so I'll, I'll still wear it. I got it, I think it's on clearance. If not, it's super cheap, so I struggle returning things, especially if it's by mail only, because then you have to go to the post office, you have to fill out that thing, that, you know, the thing that you have to fill out. And then you have to wait for it, and you have to wait for the other size, and it's just like, ugh. There's so much else going on that exchanging this, and I don't even know if they have an extra small. So, yeah, we're just going to keep Thug Wife and have it be a little big. But, yeah. Otherwise, I love it. I want it to fit. My boobs are big enough. I don't see what the problem is. But that's why we are doing these, these try-on hauls, right? Right. So I have one more shirt. Hopefully that fits better. And then the jumper. You're going to want to wait for the jumper. Trust me. Okay, and we now have the opposite problem of the Thug Wife crop tank. This is a 
Gosh, I don't know. I should have looked at the material, but it's definitely a very stretchy, I call it a thin, maybe ribbed sweater. It's not, it's not like the red one where it's thin cotton, but it's, it's got a lot of stretch in it, but it is pretty tight. Not gonna lie. So I loved that the cold shoulder cutout has this little strap with a buckle. I just thought that was cute and a little different. Adds a little kind of punk. Is this punk? Does this mean I'm punk? No, I don't think so. It's just adds a little pizzazz. That sounds dumb too. Yeah, pizzazz is this. It's late. <laughs> it's like, it is pitch black dark out. And I was dedicated to filming this today. And because this is so tight, I actually messed up my hair, which I'm a little bitter about, to be honest. Anyways, this is a small two. And I'm going to try on the jumper. And then we will be done. And I just want to say, you guys, thank you for your support so far. I, you know, from coming from Instagram to YouTube, I honestly can say that I wish I would have started YouTube years ago, but I didn't. And I am where I am now, and I'm here now. So that's all that we can do is look to the future and to tomorrow and not worry about what we did yesterday. If it were up to me, I would have been doing this a long time ago, but my circumstances a few years ago were not like they are now. I'm in a much better place. So figuratively speaking, by the way. So yeah, just wanted to throw that out there and I'm just so appreciative of everyone's love and support, not only here on YouTube so far, but on Instagram. I know that I think with Instagram, it's a little bit of a different platform because you're just scrolling and you're seeing pictures and you're seeing hundreds of them. So you are quick to judge and be a little keyboard warrior and just base on opinions rather than someone's words. And I guess what I'm trying to say is so far, I feel like YouTube is more positive of an environment. Who knows? That could change. I don't care. I'm going to still do it. I have been bullied pretty much my whole entire life, which might surprise you, but it's true. And you know what? Like I've gotten to the point and to the age that I am now where if someone wants to pass judgment on me and not like me based off of a picture or who they think I am, that's their choice and their problem, not mine. So yeah, with that being said, let me change into the jumper, which has nothing to do with what I just said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Last, but definitely not least, is this not the cutest outfit you've seen all day? I would have to argue if you said it wasn't. Not me, the outfit. But my hair is kind of cute too. Just saying. So this jumper surprised me in a very, very good way. It's actually what I noticed different. Crap. I don't know where I put it. But it's not Fashion Nova brands. Like it doesn't have their label on it. And it does have straps like a bra, so you can wear it strapless as well. It has 
a little belt that you can also take off. And what I love the most that I was honestly kind of worried about, but I didn't read the description to find out, is it's lined to about there. So it kind of, you know, covers up like your panty line or whatever. I mean, we all wear panties, right? Unless it's a dude and you're watching this for some unknown reason and you're wearing boxer briefs. So yeah, love it. This is definitely by far my favorite thing out of this haul and it's probably my favorite thing just that I've purchased this year, I'd have to say. I fell in love with it. Even my mom fell in love with it. She wanted to try it on before I left Arizona because all this stuff came. I was going to have her actually film me do this haul but it just didn't work out every time I go to Arizona there's an event and there's all kinds of shit to do so there went my plans of having my mom record me but it's okay I'll be going back next month I believe so anyways that is this jumper it has very wide legs and I'm 5'3", so it's a little long on me, but you could always wear like wedges for summer or flip-flops if you're taller than me, but for me it is almost perfect. I can wear little wedges is probably what I would wear with this. So that is everything you guys. Thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in, thanks for listening to me ramble and my fancy backdrop. And you know what? There is only going up from here. Up there. That's where we're going to go. So make sure to check out my current giveaway if it's up and follow me on Instagram. I do alternating either product shots and reviews and makeup looks of the day. So I'm actually going to get this look up on the gram shortly, hopefully, fingers crossed. So anyways, thanks for tuning in. Follow me on Instagram, Seattle MUA Renee. I hopefully didn't say that a hundred million times, but I love you guys and thank you for your love, for your support, for your views, for everything that you guys that support me bring to my life. I am always going to be myself because that's just how I am. I don't fake anything. I mean, I did get lip injections, but, oh, and veneers. But other than that, as far as me, I keep it real. I will always be 100% honest with you guys. If I don't like something, I'm never going to bash any brand or anything like that. That's just not my character. But I will definitely let you know at all times if it's something that I recommend. But, you know, it's always tricky too because we're all different. So what could not work for me as being oily and combo could work great for someone with dry skin. So, you know, to each their own. And with that, I'm going to stop rambling and change into sweats and hopefully get a post up on Instagram. I love you guys so, so much and I hope you're having a good day or a good evening or a good lunch or whatever the fuck you're doing right now. I hope you're having a good day. I love you. Thank you for your support.